Here's what you need to know to start your day. PG&E has until the end of today to respond to the California Attorney General about what part the company played in the campfire. The Attorney General says the utility company could face manslaughter charges for the 86 deaths connected to the fire if it is found responsible. Anderson police say Dillian Sullivan of Paradise faces 17 charges for shooting a police canine, and that includes attempted murder. Police say canine Chance was shot in the left ear, but that animal is expected to recover and return to work soon. And Gridley Biggs police are searching for three men suspected in an armed home invasion. Police say the masked men held a family at gunpoint Sunday morning and stole their car. No one was injured. Reading police arrested Wayne Bergman and Zachary Crouchley for stealing two FEMA trailers that were meant for campfire survivors over the weekend. These are the two men we're talking about. Both trailers were later found and recovered. And Chico police are on the hunt for an armed masked robber who held a gas station clerk at gunpoint. It happened at the Valero gas station on East 8th Street on Friday night. And a reminder, Butte County Animal Control plans to close shelters which are housing campfire animals this coming Friday. If your animal is still missing, call the shelter hotline at the number on your screen, 530-895-0000. We also have a list of those still unclaimed pets on our website, actionnewsnow.com. Look under news links.